Here we're going to show how you can transcribe equations from a paper into MATLAB code and then run that code in order to generate the same simulations they showed in the paper. We're going to be using the original Hodgkin and Huxley paper of 1952 which described an individual neuron and how both ion conductances and also voltage changes can affect things like the action potential and also the conductances of the different ions. Specifically they focused on sodium, potassium, and leakage current, which mostly included chlorine. So if we look up at this paper right here, this is the original Hodgkin and Huxley 1952 paper, and I'm not going to go through all of it, but just notice that a lot of these equations we're going to be simply re-expressing in MATLAB code. So things like the N and the M and the H gates, we can just write down the same stuff that they have right here, but just put it into an M file. Similarly, they've already calculated a lot of constants for us. Things like the capacitance of the membrane, the voltage equilibrium potentials of different ions, and the conductances of different ions. We're just going to take those values and we're going to insert them into our code, like we've seen right here. So first thing, we're going to construct a time course that we can use to observe the changes in voltage and conductances over time. And here, I've simply made current available to certain time steps, then set it to zero at different time steps, and then injected more currents at later time steps, which you can mess around with and see what the effects are of different current levels at different times. These constants right here is just transcribing what was in table three of the Hodgkin-Huxley model. So we haven't really changed anything except for the fact that if we want depolarization to be a positive event, so in other words, when positive ions flow into a neuron, that's going to be more positive. Whenever there is a voltage or an equilibrium voltage variable or constant, we're going to make that, we're going to flip the sign on that. Okay, last thing, a lot of these equations we're just transcribing into MATLAB code, so nothing too crazy is going on here. Uh, in this loop right here, we're doing Euler first order approximation in order to generate a curve that most closely approximates the time course of the voltage. Okay, so if you want to read up some more on that in Wikipedia, that's a pretty good resource. Simply all we're doing is at each time step, we're taking information from the previous time step and also multiplying our time step by a certain function or a certain constant every time. Okay. Here I've simply set the resting potential to negative 70. Originally it's at zero, but I've changed it so it's more familiar, like what we've seen in textbooks. And these last two blocks are going to actually plot the voltage and also the conductance for different ions. So if we go ahead and run this, man, VNC has been really slow. I'm sorry, guys. But you'll see a couple different plots right here. And this should validate a lot of what we already know about action potentials and conductances of different channels. So for example, I applied a very small or I applied a certain amount of current for a very small time at the beginning, which led to an action potential, and then the current was zero for a while. It was able to come back to a resting potential. Spiked again, and then it's a constant current for a long time, which results in a smaller amplitude of action potentials. When you look at the conductance, the sodium is opening up. These channels are opening very quickly and closing very quickly. And potassium is relatively slower in both its opening and its closing. So this validates a lot of what we see in our textbooks. And it's a pretty good approximation of the original Hodgkin and Huxley simulations. I hope that helps. And later on, if I ever get to it, and according to my pace, that might be not a very safe bet, but I will get to it at some point, I promise. We're going to be applying this to things like reinforcement learning models, uh, things like Cajon and Nets, more complex, interesting processes that make use of computational modeling. And I'm hoping to show you that it's a relatively straightforward conceptual process to transcribe the equations and the constants into MATLAB code.